a window into the world. Thank you for joining me as we cover news and other topics around the world. My name is Sophia John and I will be your news anchor for today. Let's go around the world for a little breaking news. First, let's go to India. They became the first country to launch a spacecraft to the south side of the moon and successfully land it. Chandrayaan-3, the lunar rover, was launched from India on July 14, 2023 and had a soft landing on August 23, 2023. This allowed them to explore lunar ice, which is frozen water on the moon and can lead to possibilities where it can be converted into oxygen and rocket fuels. People around the world celebrated this never been done before accomplishment. Up next, we are going to head into South America where four Colombian children were rescued after surviving 40 days in the Amazon jungle after a plane crash on June 9, 2023. The oldest child was just 13 years old and the youngest was just an infant. They were found eating fruit that kept them alive. People are still wondering how they miraculously survived. Let's head to the United States where the Americans have spoken. After Super Tuesday results, the Republican voters have overwhelmingly chose one candidate, former President Donald Trump. The Democrat Party left no doubt that incumbent President Joe Biden is their representative for the presidential election. Americans are going to head to the polls on November 5th, 2024 and vote for president. The latest polls, according to The Economist, say that Trump has a 1% higher chance than Biden. According to 538, Biden has a 2% higher chance than Trump. This election will be incredibly close as both candidates head out on their campaign trail. Who do you think will win the 60th presidential election? Welcome to Sports with Sophia. The Summer Olympics are around the corner in the beautiful city of Paris. All of the athletes are getting ready for the 2024 Olympics. Some summer sports that people are looking forward to are track and field, basketball, swimming, golf, and gymnastics. The United States and China led the other countries in medals in the 2021 Olympics. Keep your eye out for amazing athletes, Caleb Dressel and Simone Biles. I have here with me today, Neil Vora, former tennis player and baseball player. Thank you for joining me today. As a former athlete, how would you get ready for a big competition like the Olympics? It's important to get lots of rest, good nutrition, and have a strategy going into it. How long do you think some of these athletes have been training? Some have been training their whole life, as early as four or five years old. That's a long time. And what country do you think will earn the most medals this year? the United States of America. Thank you so much for joining me as we start the countdown to the 2024 Olympics. Taking a quick break from the news, there is a huge weather alert. As you can see behind me, the city is experiencing strong winds, heavy rain, and severe storms. Stay home and keep off the road because this could lead to street floods. Back to the studio. Welcome to Opinion of the Day with Sophia. Today, I call to you with an action that we need to take. We are in a crisis because coral reefs are bleaching because of a marine heat wave that about 40% of the world's oceans are experiencing. Coral reefs are slowly disappearing and around 30 years from now, they could be gone. This is a big deal because coral reefs are an important part of our ecosystem. They provide food and habitat to 25% of our natural marine life. They contribute to oxygen for our planet and they're used for medical breakthroughs. This is what our coral reefs should look like, but this is what they're starting to look like. According to Time Magazine for Kids, we still have time to take action and save the coral reefs by preserving them back to their natural state. So I call on my viewers to work together. Here are some things we can do to save our coral reefs and our planet. Let's try to preserve our natural marine life by limiting our overfishing. Let's ask our government to set aside more marine protected areas and coastlines to protect them from traffic and pollution. Let's limit fossil fuels to reduce pollution and harmful effects to the planet. And let's take care of our environment by reducing electricity usage. We can conserve water and we can, we can reduce pollution. Thank you for joining me. Please tune in next time to SJNN, a window into the world.